Hello and welcome to Ark, the complete series. Well today we're going to head back down into the Rook Drake Trench. We've been down there once before, uh, we went down there with, I think, yeah, we went down with some Megalosauruses. And that, well, it kind of went well, I mean, we got ourselves uh, an actual Rook Drake. But unfortunately, Roger, he didn't last long, so it was a case of, well, you know, he got us some 160, well, 160 and a 165 egg. But then, yeah, he, he soon bought the farm, so I kind of figured that using uh, Megalosaurus wasn't really that good of an idea. So today, we're going to take Ricky here. I mean, he's he's from the 165 egg that we hatched. Uh, he's now up to level 210. But the plan is we're going to head back down there. And, I mean, I've, I've got my Megalosaurus still, but I've, I've now actually got some Spinos. Uh, these are level 258, so I've done a, a bit of breeding. I was actually trying to get the stats uh, all merged onto one uh, breeding pair and I was like really lucky I ended up with a, a mutation and health. So these are kind of a bit of an offshoot. Um, it's a case of these two, they're from a, a breeding pair that do have one mutation and health. I wouldn't normally be doing that but uh, anyway I went, I went out and leveled them up because the, the plan is I just want to use those down in the rock drake trench because I think they'll, they'll be a lot better against rock drakes than uh, these megalosauruses. As they've just got this default bite action trying to grab things basically and pick them up which is not much use really that's how we lost roger and our original hue unfortunately so we're over at our base and i'm going to try a different strategy to get down there i mean it's about we're at about roughly 42 52 and um i mean i do have a, a teleporter to get down to where our little hood is where we uh, normally go down on the path but this time I'm going to try attempt number three to literally just jump off the edge down here and see if we can find out how to get to the rock drake from up here because yeah so far every time I go down I just get lost it's, it's a bit deceptive there's, there's obviously something I need to keep an eye out for and I, th I think I know how to get there now I think because the key is to look for the, um, the actual skeleton here and at that point it starts to get a bit deceptive, I must admit. I tend to lose the plot after that. Right, let's see if we can turn ourselves around. Because... Ooh, there's a high level something or other around here. Yeah, there's, there's always rock drakes crawling around here. Oh, wait, where, where are you going, dude? You want to go that way? You want to go that way? Right, let's see. So there's the skeleton there. And I want to see where it's pointing to because I think that was the clue that I, I was picking up. Somewhere where it's pointing to. Yeah. Every time I've come down here, because I know the Rock Drake Trench has usually got this like yellow colouring. Oh, I need to get rid of this plumbing. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> where on earth are you going? Oh, I was going to try and get rid of that Rock Drake over there, but he's he's. He's getting he's getting stuck. It's because he's in the is it because he's in climbing mode. He's going all over the place. Let's just get rid of these. No, there's, there's like a yellow. You can see this. Oh blimey! It took out 180. Struth. Oh dear! Somebody's stuck in some element down there. That's that's painful. No, normally when I come down here, I get a bit distracted because you can see that yellow area over there where I'm looking at in the main screen there. And every time I've come down here, I keep thinking it's that, and it's not. It's over there. You see where this, kind of like where the this skeleton here, the head here, is pointing to. It's pointing in that direction, and that's more or less we want to go over there. Uh, so, yeah, you've got all your stamina back, right? So let's head in that direction because I'm. I think I figured it out because that that looks like the ramp up there. Huh? Because this, I, I remember the last time I was down here. Uh, I remember, like, if you turn right, you end up heading towards the skeleton. So obviously we don't want to go in that direction, we want to be on a, a left turn. Man, we're up against three rock tricks. This is not doing us any favours here, you know. I mean, this rock trick that I've got, he's, he's pretty good, I must admit. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's, he does take them out. It just, it just takes quite a while, that's all. And I must admit, that's one thing I do like about Rob Drake, is that I can back them up. You've got some flyers where all, is, all you can do is just go forward. And that becomes like, a, you know, if you ever get stuck, like, like here, it becomes a real pain. Right, I do need to get these uh, 
rock drake feathers because we're going to be needing them for the rockwell fight are you on passive mate here you are i need to make sure he's on passive otherwise he could run off somewhere uh if something just suddenly comes about of nowhere and attacks us i'd rather he's on passive oh there it is there right off thought that bag was somewhere nearby uh Right, well you grab that. So yeah, so there's the there's the dinosaur's um, skeleton over there. So obviously we want to head in this direction. It's a, it, I know it. It's just because I I always know that the uh, the actual rock drake trench is yellow. It's got these yellow glowing lights basically. But I always come down. It's that ramp. That's where I always normally come down from. Always normally. Right, come on, climb up there, mate. No, 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 not up there, man. One of these days I'll get the hang of riding around on rock drakes. I must admit, I really like them. I, I, I think these are brilliant. I forgot how good they are. They, they can be a bit fiddly, I must admit, because they glide. They don't, they don't fly. They just glide, and you can, you can like really like sprint somewhere if you can manage to point them in the right direction when you follow the crosshairs. But down here, there is a lot of element. If you ever want element, this is a brilliant place for element ball. So I've, I mean, I've been getting quite a lot of element um, just by manufacturing it in the uh, charge nodes. It just gets crazy. I mean, it's, uh, I always thought, thought I couldn't get that much, but just by keeping a load of uh, charge batteries, I keep eight in each of these five charge nodes, I, I do end up with quite a lot of uh, element in a relatively short space of time, to be honest. But um, the trouble is, I don't really need it, need it now, because what I found out is that is the um, the actual tech armor doesn't work, or at least it doesn't protect me in this environment. Oh, it's true, I can't go up there, dude. Um, dude, I can't get up there. Can you can you come down here? That's a bit weird. No, the tech armor doesn't protect you from the radiation, and it doesn't protect you from spores, so that sucks. I was really enjoying having my tech armor because I've never used it in aberration. Because the last time I was on Aberration, I was just starting from scratch because the map had just come out. Are you, you kidding me? <laughs> cool. Oh, it's, it's not worth my time. I'm really down here to where uh, to actually find eggs anyway. We'll get plenty of we'll get plenty of these blooming feathers in a short while. Right. I don't want you following me, mate. Oh, wow, look at that. Is that What the heck was that? You you snuck up on me, you that was that just came out of the blue. Wow, that was clever. That look at that rock drake. That's a cool looking color over there. It's like a bright red, uh, bright yellow color. Now, one thing I'm noticing is my health is seriously going down. When I say mine, I mean uh, Ricky's. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get one of the spinos out now. In fact, actually I'll get the well. Uh, yeah, I can't read it because um actually I could. I can get one of them out, I'll just have to wait until the other one. Uh, oh. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. There you go. Right, there you go. Get yourself on neutral, mate. Come on then, Bill. See, there you go. My life just suddenly became a lot easier. I was going to say I couldn't get them out because then I thought because I was thinking actually I've got the cat uh, the timer here I've got to wait and I was thinking oh maybe I just want to wait until I get both of them but yeah Ricky's health was going down so slowly so I'm I'm going to have to wait for that timer to expire now uh, once it has then we'll get our we'll get our other rock trick out because I I was really lucky I ended up with uh, a pair of twins a male and a female so we'll get the mate uh, boost out of the, both of them so we'll be back in a minute well quite a few bad looks at it. Right, then this timer's almost finished. My, my actual uh, suit, my hazard suit's almost worn out. Which is nuts. Right, so that's Bell. As ever, I'm not original. So this is Bill and Bell. <laughs> so they're twins. So just out, of, just out of curiosity, just to see what they're, what these two are going to be like compared to what we normally get out of like the Megalosaurus. If we can get past the uh, level is that thing. It's a 95. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm, am I on your way? 
Come on, you two. So they're hitting for a 285, which is actually not that bad. Uh, they've just got normal primitive saddles. What I did is I... I mean, I've taken them by about roughly 50 levels. Because I just basically went out, we just went up and down the river near the base and we were just taking out like Karkanos and um, Spinos because you can get quite a, quite a lot of XP. I can't get past these two. Uh, you get quite a lot of XP from Spinos, but we were taking out Karkanos and all sorts. So it didn't take me that long to get them leveled up. So they've got about 15, getting on 16k in health. Uh, 500, uh, 500 melee, which is not bad actually. So, come on you two. Gonna have some fun with that one. Yeah. I like. I must admit, I do like them. They're, they're, they're hitting quite well. I mean, look at that. Over 400 they're hitting for. And that's because they've like they've, they've got up onto their hind legs and started to hit. So like while while they're on all fours, they can only do so much damage. But if they if they stand up on their hind legs, they go. Oh, I'm like, uh, get it, get it. Just follow, just follow behind. Yeah, get them up on their hind legs, and they'll go a lot better. But the plan is, I'm, I'm going to literally just go down there, actually. But I just thought I'll have a quick peek up here. Won't sort that out, will you? The trouble is, you don't get much meat off these uh, rock drakes, unfortunately. I mean, I've used up quite a bit of meat just trying to get some healing. I'm going to have to be really careful because this armor's going to break any minute. Uh, but I may as well change it over, actually. I could really do with some better armor. Right, see that one there? We'll clear that one out. Yeah, this is this is a lot better than having the, the Megalosauruses. The trouble with the Megalosauruses, as I say, is they've just got this default bite or grab action. That's a bit of a pity. So there you go, they're now up on their hind legs and they're hitting for 426. Come on, you two. You two come over here. And we're going to have a bit of a peek around here in the nests. Uh, I'm not too bothered if they actually did go over the edge, to be honest. Come on. Sort it out. So 284 while they're on on all fours. 480 odd while they're on their hind legs. Right. Hang on. You st hang on. Uh, don't try and follow. You, you can't climb this high. I know you're good at climbing, but you can't climb this high. I can tell you that now. Right. Let's have a look. We'll have a bit of a peek in here and see what we've got. So there's one here. There's sometimes uh, ones over there as well. Right. Don't pretend you're a wyvern and start running over the edge, because that'll be a bit awkward. Uh. Right, that's a bit better. What's that? A level what? Level 20? Seriously? Right, so what I can now do is just head down here and cower around here waiting for any rock tricks to suddenly show up. Did I pick that up? Yes, I did. Anybody coming? Anybody? I don't think anybody's interested, you know. This is eerie. Oh, someone's coming. Incoming! This, this is going a lot better. I did, I, poor Bell seems to be stuck. But I mean, the thing is, Bill's getting like a maid boost off it, so it's not that bad. Actually, what's your health like? Yeah, that's not, that's alright. You can see, I mean, 16k health, 504 melee, and that's just because, I mean, it was level 215 when I got them. Ooh! Hang on a minute. Yeah, there you go. Getting too complacent. I'm getting too complacent there. <laughs> Shine a light. It's a, bit, it's a bit deceptive, I must admit, because, I, I, you know, you, you, you're, just, you're just hanging around here, and it's a case of, you know, you assume everyone's going to suddenly turn up there and then, but they didn't. Now, Ricky there is on passive. Man, that was too close for comfort. That, that's how I ended up uh, getting poor. Uh, Roger killed. I got, too, I got too complacent. Right, well, I'll tell you what. 
I'm not really interested in this one. It's only level 20. Right, you two stay put while we climb back up here and have a look up here. Oh, there's one over there. I can't remember, there was definitely... Oh yeah, there's one up there as well. Right, we'll have a look and see what this one looks like. Right, you can stop climbing, mate. Turn yourself around. Stay put. Don't, don't jump over the edge. 55? Hmm. See there? I think there's a better one up there, hopefully. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed there's a better one. I mean, if, if these rock drakes suddenly start flying in my direction, this could get nasty. There you go. We, we'll cower behind the spinos and let the spinos kill them. <laughs> oh, got another one. Go on, you two. Bring them out. Right, can you clean those ones? Right. Bit of a peek over the edge on the off chance there's any more coming. Yep, somebody else is coming. Is somebody else coming! Incoming! At least it was coming. Here it is. There's somebody else to keep you occupied. What level has that one, I wonder? Level 80. Alright, fair enough. Right. Right, we'll take a bit of a gamble here and see if we can get up to there without any more coming in our direction. Right, you get up to here and turn yourself around, mate. Oh, this is awkward. This is an awkward fit. I don't want you like looking like that. <laughs> uh, right, let's see if I can grab this one. What is this one? Oh, 15? Oh, this is not wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for wonderful high level eggs and I'm not seeing any. But basically I feel a heck of a lot safer, you know, well yeah, if I, if I was a bit more careful that is, um, by having these rock, uh, these spinos with me. I mean the, uh, the actual rock drake can do pretty good damage on our own. It's, the trouble is, is when you get a lot of these rock drakes, you'll, you've probably noticed it, it takes a heck of a lot of damage. I mean we took out a 180 okay, because I mean, Ricky, he's up to, uh, he's up to like level 210 now, so he's he's doing okay. I mean, he's got um, a reasonable amount of health and he can do quite a bit on the damage, but... Hello. Incoming. I think. Looks like somebody's tail. Someone's struggling to get up here. Right, I guess we're just going to have to try and deal with this blowing rock trick somehow. Seriously, dude. Are you two going to join in or are you just going to, like, are you on your lunch break or something? Right, so the plan now is then, I want to head down and start having a look for eggs down there. Because, well, yeah, I didn't find anything wonderful over there. The trouble is they do respawn pretty quickly. So I'm going to start searching around, and the, the plan is I'm going to leave the Spinos actually at the bottom of the trench, because we're going to go down there. The plan is that I'll just basically drop down at the bottom of the trench with these two down there ready to, to keep an eye on us. We're going to head in that direction. And if I do find any decent high level Rock Drake eggs, assuming I can get out of the way of these two, <laughs> then I'll bring you back. Oh, I cannot believe this. We've, we've hit the mother load here. I'm actually getting a 190. <laughs> oh, struth. I mean, as I said, I mean, I, the, the plan was to basically bring these dinos down to the, uh, the spinos. Bring them down to the bottom. Uh, I don't know what it is, but that that nest up there, for some reason, it just keeps respawning a new, a new egg. I just keep going back up again and again, and I just keep seeing a new egg. 
And the trouble is, these two, including Ricky, they're taking a battering down here, and I'm, I'm really uncomfortable because you don't get much meat out of these. Ah! I can't get out of this, I'm pinned in. Yeah, we're all taking a serious battering from Rook Drake, so I need to get out of here. Especially now that I've got this 198. Oh, that, that, might, that must have been the one that we took out, uh, you know, that we got the egg from. But it, it's really weird. It's that uh, nest up there for some strange reason. We are at about 6244. But you can see Ricky's health is very, very low. I mean, he's, I've picked up quite a bit of meat here. I'm going to have to be really careful because I want to get out. Um, last time I did this, I actually left my spinos at the bottom of the, the actual trench. Because I'm, I actually I brought one down. What I used to do is I used to come down with two spinos. I'd bring one of them uh, down that path. I'd leave one of them at the top and I'd leave one of them at the bottom. And I'd always leave one at the bottom and take one back. Because the problem then was you didn't have cryopods, whereas now you do. Uh, that used to work fine, but the trouble is I'm, I'm really bothered by um, how little uh, these, these two are doing. They're not doing so well. I don't know about half health. And the trouble is, these um, these rock drakes are spawning really, really quickly. I'm surprised I haven't gotten so many levels as well, because we've, we've taken out quite a lot of rock drakes. I'm going to have to be seriously careful, because if any, if any of them spawn, there's going to be just me and Ricky. But the plan is, we're going to leg it now, we're going to make a mad dash for it. I'm just going to grab a hold of Ricky. See if we can pull any of the if there's any meat left over. Yeah, so those two did manage to pull quite a lot of meat. But I don't I, I really don't want to be staying around here for too long. Let's just see if I can find that um that nest, because it was there's normally two of them here. Every time I was coming up here for some strange reason, this nest there, that one there. See there, it's nearly always respawning. I was getting pretty low eggs because there's normally one there and then one down there. And it was weird because every time I went into that nest, I could see another nest there, but it looks empty down there now. But I've just been keep going back there. It's just it's just respawning practically every few seconds. It's bizarre because I I grabbed the egg, head down there where the rock drakes are, uh, the spinos are, so I can basically cower with <laughs> with my rock drake. And then I'll just come back up here once I've cleared them. But yeah, let's see how my armor's doing. Right, I'm gonna get a new set of armor, and then we're gonna make a dash for it. Uh, right, all five items have been replaced. But ooh. right, fingers crossed, we'll be we'll be able to get either back to our teleporter in one piece. Oh, what I can do is I can just literally climb my way out of here. See you in a while. Right then, it is now time to see what it is we've actually got. Fortunately, Wildcard put in a, a safety feature to stop you consuming eggs without giving a warning. Although I did notice, uh, I think while I was on Scorched Earth a few times that never happened. But, let's see what we get, because the hatchery, actually, um, how long is that going to take? Yeah, I mean, I could leave it there, to be honest. I don't necessarily need the hatchery to sort it out. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to get this egg to hatch. But uh, I've been out and uh, I've got the electrical generator over here running because I've got quite a bit of nameless venom over there. But if this, this, if this thing turns out anything like the last three, it's not going to actually ask for any. It's it's either going to be cuddles or walks. Uh, two of them, all they asked for was for cuddles. One of them, I've just out of the blue, just asked for a walk. Um, and oddly enough, there was only four requests for imprinting, which I found really, really strange. So it was very, very easy to get these things imprinted. In any case, I'm just going to wait a few more minutes. And then we'll see what we get. Ooh. Oh, that's an interesting looking uh, rough drake, I must admit. That's, that, that is interesting colours. They're looking a bit fancy, I must admit. Another male. Struth, what is it with all these males? I mean, I've got a, a Ricky, a Rocky, a Rory, and I've had a Roger. Strangers. Um, 
Oh, hang on a minute. I need to put you on full, uh, your full distance down the low, don't it? Otherwise, you're not going to budge, are you? You like those ribbons, you lot. Just can't be bothered. Right, come on. Let's bring you out into, well, whatever light it is we've actually got out of here. Oh, I do like him. Oh, yeah, he is cool. Oh, I definitely like him. And what's his food level like? His food level's okay. I mean, to be fair, my taming settings are uh, set at six, so he may not ever actually run out of food, to be honest, by the time he gets to adulthood. Because I, I think these are like the, the wyverns, where they won't eat off, off the trough. Uh, they won't eat meat until they get to adulthood. Uh, I'm just going to leave you there. Because I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to give him something at least. If he decides to eat it, then great. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I don't think I bothered with the other ones, but... Uh, this is a 190, well, you know. Got about a minute to go. Now, I am planning to go back down to that rock drape trench. Except I'm going to be a bit more... Well, I'm going to be a bit more careful next time. What I should have really done is, I should have like, gone to that entry point and I should have popped uh, the actual uh, spinos out there, to be honest. That would have made a heck of a lot more sense. Instead of getting into a fight with a bunch of uh, rock drakes, it would have made a heck of a lot more sense if I'd popped the rock drakes out first. Because poor Ricky, he took quite a bit of battering. Um, so that was one of the reasons I didn't want to hang around too long. But to be fair, the, the armour down there is not lasting long either. I think I went through two sets and then... I really struggled coming back because adding that extra egg on, um, on, on, onto Ricky was really slowing him down as well. So we, we kind of crawled back. So, I mean, I've literally dropped practically everything. You know, th all the guns, all the ammo that I was carrying. Because that was, yeah, that wasn't getting very far. Because of just the fact that he was getting overloaded. Right, what are you going to ask for? I bet you're going to ask for a cuddle. Yeah, I'll surprise. Oh, and 25% imprinting. What do you know? So... I mean, it's 9% maturation. My, I'm trying to think what the, the, I think the server settings are set for, I got them set for Spinos, but no, I set them for you lot, didn't I? I set, they are set them for the Drakes anyway, so that these things would mature in about, I've got them set now to mature in half an hour as opposed to one hour. And it doesn't make any difference. They're still, I'm still getting this 25% imprinting. Because what you do when you configure the server, you just work out, you know, how long does it take but one of these dinos, you know, whatever t type that you it is that you want to mature. Where the heck are you going? And uh, basically, work out how long it takes for that dino to mature, and then you just basically calculate well how how long you know what sort of setting do I put on the server to make it mature in I don't know an hour, half an hour, five minutes, whatever it is, and then what you do is when it comes to the imprint cuddle timer, you just reverse the. Um, the actual uh, maturation rate that you've put in so it's, it's literally the inverse you just divide one by whatever the actual maturation rate is and that that works out perfectly fine um for some strange reason these things they only seem to be asking for like four imprints which is really weird no matter what you set it to it's always saying four imprints uh, i don't know it seems to be like a feature because i noticed it was on the forums as well where people were saying that oh they only asked four times and they nearly always ask for cuddles as well, which is really weird. But anyway, yeah, I think my strategy when I go back down there is to, well, use a bit more common sense, basically. And I'll, I'll get the spinos out first, and then we'll just head straight into the bottom of the trench, and I'll, I'll take those two with me. What I really could do with those better saddles for them, because these, uh, well, you'll do about 30 or 40 odd seconds, right? Well, you've actually eaten that food, oh, I fair enough. Now, just stay put. Hey there. I mean, these these are the the ones that I got where they came out with one mutation, so they've got like fifty five ten in health. Um, I'll do a quick dash over to here because this one's going to need imprinting. So that's got slightly higher health than the those three that I originally got. So I've got a female over there with five two four one. Uh, I was really lucky because I was trying to get those three stats blended together into a, a breeding pair. What do you want to cuddle? Well, Silla B. 
Uh, I was trying to breed the stats out of those three. Or rather the two females specifically. Well, the males also got both stats, I must admit. I was trying to get two dinos that had the highest health and the highest melee that I found. And just really lucky, I think I ended up with a dino that had uh, one mutation in health. So I, I held on to that one and uh, did a bit more breeding to get um, uh, an actual male as well. So those two dinos, I'm just using those to get the dino, uh, the spinos that I'm taking down to the actual... Yeah, there's the, the female there. I'm just taking... I'm using those rather to, to actually breed the dinos I'm taking down to the rock drake trench. I still need to sort those out or figure out whether I need better spinos, to be honest, because I'm still... Yeah, I'm still not overly impressed by that. To be fair, it's not taking that much. My mouse is moving over. Uh, it's not taking that much to, to get them up to, like... I think these, these two, they ended up on almost just over 16,000. Most of what I've put into them was for melee. But to be honest, if I'm going to be going back down there, I could have really done with some better saddles. I think that would help. Anywho. Things seem to be going to plan. Food-wise, I think I'm fine. Mm, I don't see any problems with imprinting. Worst case, this thing's going to ask for a, probably a walk, I'd imagine. On the off chance they ever do ask for that nameless venom, I've got plenty in the fridge over there. So I'm just going to get on with this, sort this out, and then, yeah, I think we'll end up going back down to the trench just to see if we can try a, try things a, a bit different. Because I, I want to show you this at this nest egg, um, and the nest rather, because for some strange reason that that egg was just respawning at a really, really rapid rate. Zero well. Well, we're back down in the actual rock drake trench, and lo and behold, this egg, uh, um, I must admit, I'm quite impressed. It does keep respawning, and pretty quickly, I must admit. I, I don't know why. It's, it's. I think it might be just because the, the actual rock drakes around here respawn so quickly. It's, it's interesting, because there's, there's usually like three eggs, or nests will appear around here. But this one in particular seems to be the one that respawns the quickest, uh, where it's... Roughly 63.45. Now, if we head up to here, I mean, I came in here down that platform. The plan was to basically pop both of the the actual spinos out, but we got ganked. Uh, I actually got uh, hit by a 190, then another two rock drakes suddenly appeared, so I had to get Bill out pretty quickly. Uh, the trouble is now is he's, he's, he's on about like half health, but we stayed up there for a while uh, until we could get Bell out, then we cleared the area out. I came down to get this egg. Uh, didn't respawn as quickly as I was expecting, so I was thinking, oh, well, in that case, maybe we're jeopardizing, you know, the respawns of rock drakes up there. So I, I came down to here. I uh, left the actual spinos down there. Now, whether that is actually having an effect or not, I don't know, but it's definitely benefiting. I mean, it's it, to be honest, it's a lot easier for me to jump off the rock drake, get that egg, and then head to the bottom there than it is to then try and either climb back up there or jump off and try and glide all the way back again. Now, so far I've got a 165. I get quite a lot of low-level eggs, you know, 20s, 50s, 60s, and what have you. Uh, but, you know, eventually, you know, it's all an always a numbers game. But what I'm finding is, after a while, that nest will appear. Once I steal the egg, drop down there, we'll clear out the, the actual rock drakes. But the rock drakes themselves are spawning really, really quickly around here. So I don't have to wait long. And the good news then is I can just keep coming back up to this nest and getting another egg. And well, I thought he dropped off the edge there. Right, so that's a oh, that's a one seventy-five. Oh, okay, we'll try that one. I mean, I really want a one ninety to be honest, but the plan's always the same: just keep cowering behind the spinos, basically. Uh, let them deal with the actual rock drakes, because if there's a lot of rock drakes appear, it's it's really difficult, next to impossible for. Uh, for Ricky here to take it all on himself. But as I said, the trouble is Bill, uh, Bill, Bill's the one who's suffering the most. Well, both Bill and Ricky, to be honest. I mean, they're coping, but I could really do with better armour, both for myself as well as these lot. I mean, Ricky, Ricky really, I mean, he's on a primitive saddle. Uh, so the two Spinos. Uh, let's just have a look and see how Bill's doing. Uh, yeah, his, his health's seriously going down now. 
Uh, so I don't want to stay long, but the trouble is I can't stay long either because I'm on to suit number three. And carrying all this extra, all these extra suits is weighing on Ricky as well. It's crazy. Well, actually, is it? Yeah, it is. It's suit number three that we are, we're on, and that's that's about halfway through. But it, this all weighs down Ricky as well, which makes it difficult for getting back. Because I can only carry so many eggs anyway. So the plan is to try and get some better gear. And this 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 whole process will go a heck of a lot better. Uh, now the question was, is where on earth what must, am I supposed to go? Because as far as I'm aware, if you go to the surface, you'll get better loot up on the surface. And that nest has actually disappeared. Oh no, there we go. And I wonder if it's... Well, that's interesting. I wonder if it's the two of them that they keep respawning on. At first I thought it was that nest there, but it might be the two of them combined. It's difficult to tell, but there's normally three there's normally three eggs tend to appear in this area anyway, to be honest, but either way, I've just got to keep coming back here and I get a, another egg pretty quickly. Ugh, another little, little 20. I really want a 90. Because the plan is to get... I want I want a decent... I mean, I've got uh, Randy the Rock Drake already. He's in a cryo fridge in a cryo pod. Uh, yeah, he's in a cryo pod in a cryo fridge, I should say. Because... I'm trying to get him XP. It wasn't difficult to to actually uh, to you know breed and mature. The problem I had with him was he got he got about like a third imprint, and he was asking for a walk, and I was running him around the base, and it was a case of well, it's taking a long time, and I wonder if I've run into this old bug where you get a dino that asks for something. But it actually shows up as saying it wants a walk. It doesn't actually want to walk. It wants something else. And you used to have to restart the uh, the game, and that used to fix it. Now in my case, all I did is I just put it into a cryopod, spit it back out again, and it asked for a cuddle, and that was it. We were sorted. Um, I don't know. It was just the fact that it just it seemed to be taking so long that I thought, well, it's it's not worth just keep running it around and around. I'll I'll actually um, I'll just get it to. The, to ask for a cuddle next time it goes a lot easier and because it only asks for like four imprints it goes easier uh, as well to be honest I've got tons and tons of time because it only needs four imprints but yeah the, the question in terms of like getting better armor for me better saddles for the, for the dinos um, as far as I was aware if you go up to the surface you should get much better loot than you do you know there's a lot of loot crates show up or supply crates if you will they show up around the map and yeah, I mean, you really don't get anything useful there. The idea is you go up to the surface to get better stuff. The trouble is you're up against Reaper Kings, you're up against um, those uh, Nameless as well as Seekers. It's a, it's a real good combination of things to deal with. It's, it's okay going around on a rock trick, I must admit, because you can just usually dodge things, but um, it's a bit of a hassle waiting for things to come down and trying to avoid those Reapers because they're pretty brutal. Even if you're hiding up at a, at a height that can hit you from a distance and... So I was thinking, well, okay, I'll have a look at the loot, ta uh, the loot tables, and from what I can tell, I'll be able to get these saddles. So we're talking about Rukdrick saddles, Spino saddles, uh, Megalosaurus saddles from yellow and red loot crates that you find in the cave. So I think that's where I might probably focus on next. I mean, I'm still aware that I'm, I'm running around with, like, a journeyman uh, long-neck rifle for some strange reason. We're on map number three, and I've still got a lousy, lousy long-neck. Uh, long I, I haven't even got, like, an Ascendant one. Um, I mean, I've got a Mastercraft one that I use for, you know, doing the, uh, the actual taming, but, yeah, I could really do with a decent long-neck. I'm just gobsmacked I haven't found a decent blueprint or even a decent rifle. And that's what, it, that's what it'll be for, like, like the armour and the saddles. At this stage, I'm not too fussed what we get if it's the actual the saddle or the blueprint for the saddle or it's the armor or the blueprint i mean the blueprints are better because i can then make them and uh that, that's what i would like to prefer to get but at this stage because i'm going through so much armor and having to carry so much around it's getting to be a bit of a real pain in the neck to be honest but as far as this this strategy goes it seems to be going okay as far as i can see i mean i'm i'm not phased by it it's just the fact that i, I can only stay down here for so long but, yeah, it seems to be going quite well, I must admit. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. Right, we need to be up there. Right, come on. Let's see if that uh, nest's reappeared again. Right, so it's up on there. Right, let's see what we get. So, I mean, so far a 165, then a 175 tops. So, we haven't getting the 190. We've got, ooh, 185. Jeez Louise. 
so close, so close. But it's going to be a case of like grabbing as many of these different ones as I can get. I'll hatch them out, then I'll see what sort of stats we get. It'll be interesting to see if a 185 shows up because I, I think that's what the mechanic is. You get. Are you like? Oh, you are joining, are you? Right, Bell's going to join in, thankfully. Um, I think the mechanic is that, you know, that that nest turns up there. It is the, it is the, you know, the chicken and egg paradox. You'll get a nest turns up there that's got an egg in it. You take that egg, the nest will disappear. You might have noticed when I was up there at one point, there was a the nest there, and all of a sudden it disappeared. But as far as I'm aware, you've got the nest and you've got the egg. You take the egg, then after a while, the nest itself will disappear as well. A rock drake will then appear and uh, you know get spawned into the game and an actual egg will get created as well it'll be spawned in along with a nest so that's that's why you have to clear them out in this case it doesn't really matter because well that's what happens as soon as you pinch one of their eggs they come and they come and gank you anyway to be honest so that's all we're doing is we're just clearing out rock drakes and then we'll get there uh, we will get more out spawning into the game and then we'll get more eggs but I'll, we up to 441, so yeah, they're pretty heavy, I must admit. But it'll be interesting to see what these are, because I haven't really looked too much at what um, what Randy the Rock Drake looks like, stats-wise, but I'll compare them all. And you get all sorts of wonderful colours for Rock Drakes, I must admit, but it's mostly the stats, because I need, I need some decent stamina. Ah, right, so it does seem to drift between those two, then. Actually. I thought it was specifically the one that's just above us, but it looks like it's the, between the two of them. Because there's normally one there, but it seems to be the nests flitting backwards and forwards, because when I was first down here, it was between the two. But anyway, as I say, I mean, I, I really need a decent um, rock drake for getting around and one for the boss fight. But yeah, I'm going to have to breed myself a lot of rock drakes to pull that off. Ooh, we're getting, we're getting heavy. I think we might have to start calling it here, maybe about one more, and that's it. And then we need to start thinking about the actual caves, but well, I've got to go down there anyway to be able to do the uh, well, to be able to get the actual artifacts to be able to do the boss fight anyway. But they're all for other episodes, of course, aren't they? Well, thanks for making it to the end of this episode. I really do hope you enjoy it. If so, then please leave a like as it'll encourage YouTube's algorithms to suggest the video to others who might like it as well. If you have any tips or tricks for Ark, then please leave them in a comment below as it would benefit anyone watching this. Though, I appreciate any feedback at all, even if it's just to say hello. If you're new to the channel, then consider subscribing. It's free. Just remember to click the little bell icon though, as you should get reminders then when new content goes out. And if you'd like to support the channel, and consider becoming a Patreon. Alternatively, there's the option to make a one-off contribution through PayPal. I've left links for both options in the description below. But above all, I hope you like watching these videos as much as I enjoy playing Ark. Bye!